Brain-computer interfaces are changing the world forever, but not for the reasons you might expect. For example, humans are connecting their minds to artificial general intelligences. Advanced brain-computer interfaces now enable seamless two-way communication between the human brain and AIs, facilitating real-time access to vast amounts of information, problem-solving capabilities, and creative resources. These integrations are revolutionizing fields like scientific research, software development, entrepreneurship, and art. When humans connect their minds to AIs, they can also get perfect scores on IQ tests. This is because they can view the world mathematically. This involves deriving measurements of objects in their environments in real time to continually create new data sets. This is enabling these people to see patterns and statistically analyze concepts in ways that are impossible for non-enhanced humans. And people with enhanced abilities constantly use probability distributions to predict events in the near future. Brain-computer interfaces usually take the form of devices that mount on your head. They also take the form of nanobots that you can consume in pill form. Billions of these nanobots circulate in the capillaries of users' brains, and they're controlled wirelessly by external computers. Some researchers are beginning to connect their minds to super-intelligent AIs. The results are so astonishing that some countries are banning its capability from the general public until all possible safety concerns are fully addressed. Thanks to brain-computer interfaces, humans are gaining constant access to petabytes of information and increasing their memory by millions of times. Using their thoughts, they can summarize data from thousands of websites near instantaneously. This allows people to instantly answer questions about most topics. Individuals can also perceive any concept from hundreds of perspectives at a time, allowing them to make complex decisions that would be impossible for most humans. Augmented reality lenses are often integrated with these brain-computer interfaces and the internet, allowing users to see images, streamed videos, and visual metrics in real time. Business-savvy individuals are receiving real-time information from global news organizations, stock markets, and the transactional databases of their companies, while human-computer programmers that live thousands of miles away from each other can share code with each other using their thoughts. This capability is also changing the payments industry forever. People can buy products and services on the internet, in virtual environments, and in retail stores using their brain signals. Filmmakers can create entire scenes for movies and shows in minutes by envisioning them in their minds. Video game makers are also creating 3D objects, characters, and entire environments using their brain signals. The use of pre-made, photorealistic assets help considerably with streamlining this process, and AIs can customize these assets in millions of ways in many cases. Many of these assets were created using real photographs and video footage of objects in the real world. Major blockbuster movies are starting to be created in under a few months with production costs that are a fraction of what they were in the 2020s. Massive open-world video games, such as the ones in the Grand Theft Auto franchise, are being created at rates that were previously impossible. Game assets, mods, and downloadable content are being created for these games so fast that no one can keep up with them. As a result of this and other advancements, the amount of video and 3D content on the internet is millions of times higher than what was available in the 2020s. Even images and music can be created in minutes using our minds. Users are being transported into photorealistic and interactive virtual environments that engage all their senses, allowing them to experience lifelike scenarios. For example, gamers can participate in highly realistic simulations where they physically feel the game world around them. This is quickly becoming a big hit in the open world, fantasy, role-playing, and horror game genres. To top it off, many game worlds now have characters with general intelligence. They can interact with players and other characters in human-like ways inside persistent virtual environments. Full Immersion VR is also allowing remote workers to attend virtual meetings in photorealistic environments. This is a major step up from what was possible in the 2020s. Meanwhile, a new skill development industry is emerging, whereby users can have their movements controlled by artificial intelligences inside virtual environments while performing complex tasks. This style of education allows users to get used to what it's like to engage in these activities and the hand-eye coordination involved. Examples of activities people are learning to perform faster than ever include flying airplanes, repairing electronics, and using martial arts to fight formidable opponents. Basic telepathy is now possible. Users are able to transmit thoughts, emotions, and ideas directly to another person's mind when using basic words and sentences. And they can communicate telepathically with each other over the internet and in virtual environments as well. At this point, people can also communicate telepathically with household robots in the real world and AIs in virtual worlds. 
This capability hasn't reached its potential yet, but advances are being made at a rapid pace. Some people, including celebrities, are even transmitting their thoughts to millions of people. Many people consider this the next logical evolutionary step of the podcast industry. Humans can control objects in video games using their minds. These objects include anything in an environment and weapons. You can even mentally control characters, the weather, and even the passage of time in some games. Video game companies are taking advantage of this capability in highly creative ways. For example, photorealistic Star Wars games allow you to push and pull objects and other characters to simulate Jedi Force powers. Additionally, you can use Jedi mind tricks to control the movements of enemy characters and to have them eliminate threats on your behalf. By this point, enemy characters have human-level intelligences and unique personalities, so their reactions to these types of powers are often highly entertaining to many gamers. Games in the Matrix franchise allow you to play as the one, allowing you to pull weapons from the hands of enemy characters, fly in mid-air, and cause time to move in slow motion. And games in the fantasy genre allow you to play sorcerers who can mentally use magic spells to dramatically alter their environments and characters around them. These capabilities in video games will become exponentially more advanced and precise in future decades. In controlled environments, a person connected to a brain-computer interface can think and complete sentences and paragraphs, and those thoughts can be displayed on computer screens nearby. This is a major step up from previous decades when only basic phrases were readable. Spy organizations are considering using this capability during lie detection tests when screening new employees. Brain-computer interfaces are allowing us to see people's dreams as they occur in real time. This is made possible by monitoring someone's brain activity while someone nearby sees the dream on a nearby computer screen. Even audible words inside dreams can be transcribed to a certain degree. However, these dreams often have a low visual quality and a decent amount of noisy artifacts. However, the quality is good enough for therapists and psychologists to use this information for treating mental health issues. In the near future, artists, innovators, and social activists could be able to share their dreams with millions of people to spark creativity and inspiration. However, this development is paving the way to organizations potentially manipulating people's dreams in order to control those people in profoundly psychological ways. 9. Brain-computer interfaces are curing multiple disabilities Brain-computer interfaces are able to bypass damaged areas of the brain and nervous system. For example, patients with paralysis and amputations are using brain-computer interfaces to control prosthetic limbs and regain movement in paralyzed areas of their bodies. Individuals with sensory impairments such as blindness and deafness are using brain-computer interfaces to directly transmit visual or auditory information to the corresponding brain regions that are meant to receive that information. Even people who are unable to speak are using brain-computer interfaces to bypass areas of the brain responsible for speech production. There is even ongoing research that suggests that brain-computer interfaces can speed neuroplasticity and neural growth in damaged areas of the brain. 10. Brain apps are starting to generate millions of dollars These brain apps offer a diverse range of functionalities, ranging from real-time language translation to creative tools. Multiple brain apps are already being developed for basic telepathy. Brain apps are even starting to be used to mimic psychotropic drugs such as anti-anxiety medications, antipsychotics, and mood stabilizers. These types of brain apps can evoke pre-selected thoughts and emotions in users at certain times throughout each day. In future decades, these types of apps will be capable of things that could turn society on its head. Thanks for watching. Make sure to watch this next video about the future of humanity.